Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're going to go over this Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer. It is in satin white. Let's get this thing started. Road Hard Roadhouse is sponsored by Finley River Towing and Speedy's Industrial Coatings in Ozark, Missouri. Speedy's does all your media blasting and powder coating. Big or small, they do it all. Finley River Towing takes care of all your high-end to low-end towing needs. Call Finley River Towing if you're in the Ozark or Branson area. Tell them the Road Hard Roadhouse sent you. That Krylon Fusion uh, satin white, and it just ran all over the place. Well, as far as this Krylon Fusion all in one, it did pretty well as far as the being the same paint color. But I will say that it, I didn't like how it went on very well. It went on really thin. So if you're putting this on, make sure you know that before you put this stuff on. Okay, I thought I'd give this Krylon Fusion all in one paint primer satin white another try. Reason why is because when I painted that, it just ran everywhere. It was really hot outside, the humidity was terrible, I sucked at painting, whatever it was, it just did not really come out whatsoever at all. So I'm going to try it again here for you. See a little bit further away, it's about maybe a foot away. Okay, that time it went on really well. Um, you know, of course, I'm gonna have to put a second coat on it and I'll do another review in a year like I always do to see how well it's lasted for a full entire year. Now, as far as the paint cap goes, the paint cap went great on this. So, and it did have that satin type finish on it. So that really went really well. It was just so hot out here the day that I did it that you know maybe that was the reason why it just could not function correctly whatsoever at all here we go with same paint same can and uh it's fine so evidently it was a combination between the heat and my uh sucky painting here's your one week on wood it seemed to go on pretty well um you know on wood it's gonna have to be put on uh, pretty thick and pretty, uh, quite a few coats because it'll soak it up now I will do another review on this paint in a year when it uh, When it's been out when it's been outside for a year in the elements on both the metal and on the wood Now as I said, I was painting at about 90 degrees the humidity was pretty rough But this says no runs no drips no errors and I tell you what, this went on really thin, and I wasn't really that impressed with the satin white. Now, the second time when I used this satin white, it worked great. So, I'm guessing that the humidity and the heat just ate it up that day. So, and my painting probably sucked too. But anyway, that was probably the reason why I did so poorly. Sure. Um, I was running a red enamel spray paint the other day, whereas it had just rained and the humidity was down and it went on great the night before it was humid and it didn't go on hardly at well at all and it took forever to dry now this stuff might have the same circumstance if you do not uh, use it in a high humidity type area but uh, you know it dried all right and everything and everything and it's it's done pretty well as far as my test for the week after it's been out in the sun and elements you know I'll always do another video after a year of this after it's been out in the elements for a year I'll let you know how it turned out after you has it worked well for you let me know down in the comments thank you for watching liking and subscribing and as always if you ride her hard don't put her away wet